Greetings, YouTube. Can you believe it is the month of November? It is November 1st. It is the Cyber Weekend month where Kabam is hoping that the game is fixed so people give them their money. <laughs> uh, it is also time for a daily card that is showing us crystal shards, which is a bit of a puzzler. Well, we've got this, a heart-shaped box. I heard you like selectors, so I put selectors in your selectors so you can, you know where I'm going with this. It's the platinum puzzle. Claim it before November 29th and solve it quickly to be the first to gaze upon the bodacious booty of mine, the super fabulous one. So we're going to claim that, I guess. And uh, then we've got a motion comic. Cool. We've got two updates, including a dev diary. I should probably do a deep dive on, but I've already kind of talked about some of that, so we're not going to repeat information. All right, so we have two more days of the piggy bank. We have no more days of the daily specials with the bonus side quest crystal shards in them. Sad. And as a reminder, uh, that anti venom crystal has been pretty lucky to some subscribers. But okay. Oh, it's back. Wow. For 50 bucks. And this is a 30 day card, not a 14 day card. You get <laughs> one and a half. No. Wow. Two and a half essentially six star crystals over the course of 30 days. But what's really cool about the shards is that it does give you the chance to use these on a featured six star crystal, which a lot of you are all about. You get the six star basic crystal so you can get yourself an OG Spidey. This is what I'm most excited about, the Cavalier Nexus crystals. This is what I will be definitely opening this afternoon and really getting excited, so excited about it. And then 15 six-star signature stone crystals. I wish those were generics, but, you know, they're really a throw-in because you are valuing a six-star. This is the cheapest we have ever seen. Now, it's over the course of 30 days, so keep that in mind. But it's essentially over the course of 30 days, 25,000 six-star shards for 50 bucks, which puts a six-star shard at the cheapest price we've ever seen. In fact, if you were to say that it was $2 per, you know, I mean, it's like, gosh, it's, it's, it's the cheapest. Six stars have cost over $100 for so long in the game. And keep in mind, if the Cavalier Nexus crystals were not in this, this would still be one of the best six-star deals we've ever seen. But the Cavalier Nexus crystals could easily have a six-star or a six-star Nexus in them. And we're, we finally have 10 of these again instead of five, which is what we saw in the month of October. This is a mind-breaking Thronebreaker daily card. It is so, so good. And yes, it is the month of Cyber Weekend, but I fully endorse this card. And I wonder what Cavalier members get. I'm going to have to probably do a video on that at some point today, though it's a very, very, very busy Monday, at least in my life. Uh, it also gives you the retail price of 500,000 gold or 100,000 gold per $10 spent. But I am all about this. I am all about this, especially because some people are going to get multiple six stars in this. I can already tell. We're already going to have to do a, uh, a crystal recap tomorrow of the best Cavalier Nexus crystals, which reminder, unless you want me to commentate your video individually, which will take me a few days minimum, send screenshots, please. If you want your submissions included in the community wrap up video, which I usually drop the next day, which in this case is tomorrow. If these were generics, I would give this an A plus, but I'm going to still give this like a 94%. And that is just objectively a fantastic deal. You're putting a six star at less than $25 a piece or 1,000 six star shards for like two bucks. 
Think about that. They usually give us 1,000 six-star shards for $50 in an early access bundle. This makes early access bundles look like the most overpriced thing since you were offered a high school ring when you graduated high school. Maybe one of the worst analogies in the history of my channel, but if you bought one or a Letterman jacket, good luck with that resale value. Um, wow. I'm really impressed with this. I will be buying this. It gets my full endorsement. I'm happy to give Kabam my money given the value of this. And I'm so excited to open 10 of these. That is going to be a ton of fun. I will open those and post the video in less than a couple hours. And then maybe I'll try to figure out a way to grade the Cavalier uh, daily card as well. It's going to be, like I said, a, a busy Monday, but I'll try to get to it. In the meantime, enjoy this. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And wow, I hope the other daily cards are good because this thing is such a good start to the month of November in the Marvel Casino of Champions.